more ancient history jewelry stories. Today I have a piece that I have been wanting to talk about for a few weeks now, but every time I remember it, it's not Tuesday. So finally, today I remembered that I wanted to talk about this exquisite ancient Scythian comb. This is known as the Soloka comb, and it was found in a tomb in central Ukraine. This was a double royal tomb of Scythian rulers. Unfortunately, the central tomb was looted in antiquity, and it only contained the skeleton of a female ruler and two richly adorned horses. A small side tomb was fortunately left completely intact and was opened in 1912. It contained the body of a male ruler who was completely covered in gold. He was buried with a weapon bearer, a servant, and five horses. One of the most notable finds in this tomb was this exquisite comb. It's been theorized that this beautifully detailed object was made by a Greek artisan for a Scythian ruler. And it's unclear to me whether this was intended to be with the female ruler's belongings or if it did belong to the male ruler. The Scythians did, after all, have long hair and the men did wear jewelry. I've never seen a comb quite like this, though. It depicts an incredibly detailed battle scene, so detailed that you can see the details on their clothing, it's also detailed enough that you can see the fear on this little guy's face. This is an exquisite piece of art. It's as detailed on the back as it is in the front. Unfortunately, I don't know enough about who wore what ancient adornments in Scythian culture to tell you who would have worn this comb. It's entirely possible that the female ruler had a ton of these in her tomb, but all of the goods have been stolen. This is one of many incredible works of ancient Scythian art that's being kept at the Hermitage Museum in Russia.